ChatGPT has become a global phenomenon. Google employees criticizing their own company. A rushed reaction to what Microsoft is doing with ChatGPT. According to reports, Google is planning to soon announce a ChatGPT rival. It is being touted as a revolution in the field of AI. Now it remains to be seen who will win this epic race for AI supremacy. Microsoft and Google, two of the greatest tech giants of our generation. They have been fighting with each other for the longest time, but most of the time Google has been winning. And after the rise of AI, Google is not looking really good. Neither Microsoft nor Google gave me a job, so we are talking about the war between these two companies today. So if you're not living under a rock, you must be familiar about ChatGPT. ChatGPT is basically an AI-powered chatbot, which can answer pretty much everything. After the enormous success of ChatGPT, Google felt a little insecure about themselves. So last month, Google announced that they will launch Bard AI eventually to compete with ChatGPT. However, during the advertisement of Bard AI, it actually made a mistake which led their stocks to crash. Not only that, during an event in Paris, they were supposed to show some demo of Bard AI, but they actually forgot the phone they were supposed to show to demo. Just Look at the clip. See how that works with a live demo. Oh. We are missing the we're missing the phone. <laughs> we will have to We have no okay, we're gonna move on. We can't find the phone. Sorry, we'll do a let one later in the special Q and A. Not a great first impression, right? And the product is isn't even launched yet. The day after the announcement, Microsoft responded by releasing a new Bing with ChatGPT to compete with Google Search. Bing with AI is going to completely change what people can expect from search. We are grounded in the fact that you know Google dominates this space. I, I feel like a new race is starting with a complete new platform technology. I'm excited for the users to have choice finally and a real competitive race out there. For context, Google basically has a monopoly on search with 93% of all search volumes and the rest of the people are probably searching for google.com on some other browsers. Google actually needs to take this war very seriously because this is not just a search war, this is an AI war. For Microsoft, Bing is just another product because Microsoft's revenue is very diversified. For Google, search is everything for them. And in this situation, Bing can move really fast because it has nothing to lose actually. While Google has to move slower not to take risk and their reputation is on stake. They can also lose their search users, which is their main source of revenue. Not only is Microsoft competing in search, Microsoft is also competing in web browsers. Microsoft is integrating OpenAI's technology into Microsoft Edge. It will basically help you read web pages faster, send emails faster, write emails faster and many more things. This is their vision of what the next era of internet will look like. An internet browsing experience personalized and assisted with AI. And whoever gets there faster wins the AI war. To explain this AI war, the goal is pretty simple. Survival. Well, if you ever worked in a big tech company, you'd know that things move very slowly because it's filled with processes, extenses, and unproductive employees. So they can't move fast as a startup. That's why in order to survive, these big tech companies actually acquire or even invest in these kind of startups so they don't fall back on the technology. Which is why Microsoft partnered with AI startup OpenAI and Google acquired DeepMind and also invested in Anthropic. These companies can move really fast and make breakthroughs in AI, but all they need is money, which these big giants are able to supply. These big companies are also able to supply an army of products and apps and make them battle against each other, like ChatGPT against Bard, Bing against Google Search, Edge against Chrome, and Microsoft Teams against Google Suite. To illustrate, let's say your product is used by more users, so you have more data. And since you have more data, you can fine tune your model and make a better app. And since you have a better app, you will get more users and you will have more data. And once this cycle starts, it's hard to compete because majority of the user's data and functional model creates a barrier, which Google has been doing so far. To summarize, these giants give 
their money and army of products to these startups these startups power their products with ai technology and latest technology updates and these products make money which the giants can reinvest in themselves anyways in tech every big company wants to maintain their monopoly so one solution is to acquire these startups and slowly move into a safe place that's why you see big companies constantly acquiring startups to hedge against their downfall like facebook buying instagram for 1 billion dollars to solidify their lead in social media amazon acquiring whole foods to solidify their leads in delivering everything to you right now the biggest threat to these big tech companies is ai to give you some context let me tell you a story about a forgotten big tech company which was once valued one at 125 billion dollars and later sold for just 4.8 billion dollars that company was yahoo back in 1995 yahoo was a beast at first it was just a web directory of other website then yahoo also became the main search engine people used it was called yahoo search back then people used to go to web portals as their first destination on the internet and yahoo was one of them a web portal was a site that internet users relied on for everything from search to uh, sending emails reading news and yahoo actually dominated that sector with yahoo search yahoo mail and yahoo news yahoo was basically google of early 2000s speaking of google in 1998 google actually approached yahoo to sell their company for just 1 million dollars but back then google didn't have any users so yahoo refused but the internet grew and the landscape was changing you couldn't expect people to get everything you need in one platform google over the years slowly crept up and became the top 4 websites by monthly visits they were also insanely profitable because of their ad model and very soon google acquired the majority of the search market volume yahoo realized their mistake and they wanted to buy google for 3 billion dollars and google said 5 billion dollars which was i guess reasonable but then yahoo refused idiots and that was the beginning of their downfall tech moves fast user behavior changes and the digital landscape evolves the way people interacted with the internet in the early 2000s is way different than in the late 2000s we have an idea about how web browsers work and mobile apps work right now but honestly no one knows what will happen in next 10 years it's overlooked by the media but google invested 1.5 billion dollars in crypto startups not only google other big companies like microsoft samsung tesla all of them invested billions of dollars in crypto startups i don't think those investments turned out to be profitable but you get my point right basically everybody wants to get hold of the new latest technology which can disrupt them in the future if yahoo knew that google can change the internet forever and it will become such a big deal it would have been more proactive in acquiring google but the story of yahoo continues with desperate changes and finally ends in 2020 with yahoo selling to verizon for measly 4.48 billion dollars today microsoft and google think that ai will change how people interact with the internet with chat gpt getting so much adoption google's reputation is in risk which is why they rush to release bard ai It's almost a life or death situation for these guys which brings us back to the AI war. Here's the state of war right now. ChatGPT is way ahead of Bard which didn't even launch yet. Bing is behind in users but that allows it to move fast. Google is super careful with search since it's their majority money maker. Now OpenAI is well funded with 10 billion dollars of Microsoft money. and has momentum and is winning the public's attention google has the advantage of its big existing user base they dominate in terms of market share for search google has spent billions developing artificial intelligence technology it's been a leader in the field so it was surprising to some when its rival microsoft seemed to gain an edge in the ai space through its deal with open ai the maker of chat gpt i would say google is not looking really good they have a real risk of losing but i'm still cheering for google because it's 
actually became an habit for people to use Google. And trust me when I say this, Sundar Pichai is a really smart guy. Indians are very smart. Wait, Microsoft CEO is also Indian. But jokes apart, Google is trying that history doesn't repeat itself. Where Google is now in Yahoo's position. Now, they have proved that they can dethrone a king. But can they defend their position? Alright, so that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, like, share, subscribe and whatever these YouTubers tell you to do.